You see this? You see this? This is exactly why I hate my facial hair. Look at this. It's very patchy and ugly and... Yeah. CT Karaoke, the gaming channel. I mean, why would I want to keep this? Oh, I'm still rolling. Hi guys, it is... Thursday? Yes, guys, I know a video wasn't up on Monday. I apologize for that. Do not take it to heart. Things happen. I get busy sometimes. So, I'm gonna post one now. Today I wanted to talk about a highly requested thing you guys have been asking me and asking me and asking me and asking me and you're seeing the pattern, right? I get a lot of requests that I seem to not keep up to. And one of them was how I make my videos, which was highly requested by a lot of you. So I'm going to live up to my word and tell you how I do it. Keep in mind though, I'm not the best at explaining things. There's a reason why I took years to do this now. I, I'm not, I don't seem to be the best at explaining things to other people, so I actually had to write it down. So I remember, I would like to make this a continuous series of video so you guys can see what work goes into CT Karaoke 2 and the Let's Plays and dancing games and rhythm games and Smash and all these videos I make. I would like to break them down by episode so today we're just going to focus on the vlogging aspect. The first step is the ideas themselves. Where do I get the ideas from? Well, I mean they're usually not planned ahead. They're just kind of on the spot. Usually I'll try to get some geek culture or pop culture references or try to see what is trending out there and I'll try to get ideas based on that or I may come up with something on in my head of something I'm doing like an action and that may work for a vlog. And it's not just the ideas that come into play it's also do those ideas work? Do these ideas make for a good video. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. That's why I've experimented with it. Um, my prime examples were the vlogs I made during the first year of CT Karaoke, which were not that great of quality because I just wasn't feeling the connection that I was getting nowadays. I, 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 can't, I can't ever look back at those. But the reason I made them was because I was still transitioning as to what I wanted to do as a YouTube channel. So I didn't really have the idea of a vlog down completely until this year when I started doing it again. Afterwards, any ideas that I come up with and seem good for video, I keep them as notes on Google Drive or Google Docs or whatever they're whatever it's called now. These notes are accumulated, uh, so I'm usually either picking one that by random or I pick one that I feel is suited for that week. It can change at any point. I may have to change it at the last minute to some other idea, but I still keep that general idea list and it's always stuck with me and I've still continued to use it. A lot of the vlogs you've been seeing come from that idea list. The vlogs themselves don't take that long to set up, usually five minutes. Um, as far as, because all you need is a camera, a tripod, and some good lighting. Like, I'm using this light right now as my prime example because this is the perfect time to film because there's not that much light and it's not too bright on my face over here and over here, so it's not blocking area. The vlogs themselves don't usually take that long to set up, usually five minutes at most because it just requires a camera, tripod, and some good lighting and audio, of course. And what I'm going to say, I make sure on every single vlog I ch focus on my face so you can see a clear side of me that's not too blurry. I've, I've messed this up a couple of times like I did with the, the board game when I didn't focus and I completely forgot to. But it's always good to focus, make sure your lighting is good, there's no uh, tint of light going from one direction or there's too much light from you. You want to make sure that it's evened out like, like it is right now. Although to be fair, my lighting is poor because I only have two light bulbs up there, that's it. I don't have any other extra light unless you count sunlight, which I'm blocking right now. In order to get that color temperature balance, I usually put white balance on the camera so I can get what more white, like there's more color out of it rather than this tinted yellow that you keep saying around. Audio-wise, I usually just use this Rode shotgun mic. Uh, it picks up nearly everything in this room, which is why I have to be really, make sure everything's really silent, that the AC is off, the computer isn't loud, and there's no other distractions because it gets loud very quickly. It happened already with a couple of Let's Plays. Shooting generally takes 10 to 12 minutes. I usually leave the camera on so I can think about the next thing I'm gonna say and then cut it out 
post-production. As you can see, I use jump cuts a lot, and if you don't know what a jump cut is, it's jump cut is when you're filming on the same area and you're cutting from one point to another directly so there's no continuity. This is usually done because in case there's any silence in the room or in case I mess up, which I just did a couple of times, but you don't know that because that never gets seen. With the vlogs, I try to make sure I just keep it real. I don't usually need a script for it. I usually keep like here guidelines. So it's very easy to understand. They're one sentences and it just say talk about this and I'll just go into it. I usually don't try to force anything of laughter. I try to let it come natural. So any real reactions I get will actually happen on screen and I do mess up a lot so that is a genuine reaction but sometimes I do need to repeat things over just in case uh, I don't feel I feel like I don't get the first cut right or the second cut and multiple takes might like that like that right there <laughs> that's why you cut <laughs> After I recorded my vlog, I usually go through the footage at least once entirely with no edits. This is just so I can see where I'm getting at as far as a vlog because there needs to be some importance to why I'm making the video. If I don't have a real reason why and it's just all random stuff, you're not gonna really connect with it. Oh, go away light. See people, this is why lighting is important now. My, my face is dark over here. The second time around when, is when I finally start editing my videos. Uh, usually I'll look through again the footage once and I will know exactly in my head where to cut because if I ha tell myself I did it on the third take then I will cut the other two takes and I will cut directly there and I'll start and that's how I edit. Music is very important because you want to make sure that you keep royalty free tracks. You don't want to use anything copyrighted because then you can't monetize the video and you know it gets in the way of everything. So I try to keep everything royalty free. Uh, except for like the Just Dance stuff, which is its own thing, and same with Dance Central and all the rhythm games. Um, so I like to use pop rock music, like very soft rock that's not too loud, and make sure it's like, doesn't overlap my talking. And I also use it based on the tone, so if something is happening very quickly and I'm talking fast, I might use a faster paced pop rock song, or I might use something faster that's up more upbeat. And usually editing takes about 20 minutes. There's not usually more to it than that. It's, it's a very quick process for me. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about after footage. So the after footage you see after the, the vlog ends, that also gets recorded with the same recording as the vlogs. And then usually I leave that as whatever. You know, I, I don't have like a specific theme. Um, sometimes I may get a figure that day and I want to like show you guys or uh, I get really excited about news and I use the after footage as my way of telling, hey, let's relax, the vlog is done, now we can say whatever we want. And that's how I make my vlog, so I'm glad you guys got a semi-understanding. Oh, as far as the camera, I didn't even talk about the camera. It's a Canon Rebel T3i, if you're wondering, uh, for that, if you guys are more interested in the cameras I use. And the camera I use for webcam is a Logitech C310, I believe. If you guys have any more questions onto the vlogs and how they get done, um, you can leave it in the comments below and just tell me. I will answer and I'll try to do my best to give feedback to it because I like seeing new faces. I like seeing people do vlogs themselves. But it's also just as important to know how I do it so it kind of inspires you too. Okay, that was a long talking. So I'm going to get food now and you guys will enjoy the rest of the day because it is five o'clock. The day is still going, unless you're in the Pacific time, so it's two o'clock, so you still got the entire day to go. Bye! Some fantastic news, CT Karaoke now has a Patreon. If you don't know what a Patreon is, I will explain it in due time, but it basically is a donation page, like similar to how Kickstarter is, where you would give a certain amount of money to uh, any, any type of YouTuber or a producer or anyone doing projects and you can contribute to helping them make their projects. And so I figured, I, I was usually against Patreon at first because I, I felt bad if I did that, but I, I wanna see where this goes and I'm never gonna, remember guys, these videos will always remain free, always free for entertainment 
Don't ever complain about it, Just Dance people. Don't ever complain how I don't care about you guys, because people will complain, especially when it's a lot of free entertainment. I will explain more in the upcoming weeks of Patreon, and I will even include it in future videos so you can click on it when you can. Until next time, I am going to go... This is my cue to leave... <laughs>